Hey everyone, this is Baylor from ScoobyDooBeDoo.com, and uh, this is going to be using building a website, or actually a small application, just working with the database with the class MySQLI. And um, the reason I'm showing you this is because I think everyone should know how to do this because I like it so much more than the standard way that um, I used to write code. Uh, because it's just it minimizes your code and I think it's a lot easier to read um, now that I work with classes and stuff so much more so let's go ahead and see what we have here uh, we have a basic page that just selects all the rows from my database right here uh, let's go ahead and open that up uh, get rid of that so right here we have fruits table in my database and it's just seven random fruits and you can see that we pulled that out on the page and here's the code that did that and it's doesn't look that bad but it's real sloppy uh, it's hard to read so let's go ahead and make that where I think it's so a lot easier to read using the same technique so basically we have a basic connection connecting to our database we've selected our database We've run an SQL query to select from our database. We said if result equals MySQL query, which says uh, it gives a true or false, whether if this is a valid SQL query, then uh, go ahead and run it. Else, there was an error in your SQL syntax. Uh, if MySQL num rows for result, which is this, um, is greater than zero, which means there are some rows in the database, then um, go, we'll do them this while else if it was equal to zero then echo out there are no rows in the database um, if there were some rows in the database on the other hand uh, we create our while loop we say rows equal to mysql fetches soch for result and then we're able to echo out our all our rows this can be much easier i think with the mysql like class so we'll create a um, a mysql i variable that's going to be equal to a new MySQL I, and we'll say this is a local host, and uh, we have our username, our password, and our database. So mine's uh, random stuff. Okay, so basically we are creating a new class, and we're passing our server name, our username, our password, and our database through this. And that should connect us to our database successfully. If it doesn't, it would go ahead and echo out an error. Then we'll say uh, we want our SQL query to be equal to select star from... Actually, what we'll do is instead of running a variable called SQL, we'll run, we'll say if a result is equal to uh, MySQL I query or select star from our table which is fruits order by name uh, else and enter if so if this is a valid query then we'll go ahead and try to process it else if it wasn't we'll echo out an error so uh, bad query because I don't really want to type it out and waste most of my time on this video typing. And then if it was a successful query, which means it was valid, then we'll say if a result num rows is greater than or equal to zero, else, and enter if. So if it was greater than zero, I mean if it was not greater than zero, then echo out no rows. Else it was greater than zero, this is where we'll create our while loop again. So while uh, row is going to be equal to result uh, oh, fetch object. And I'm pretty sure that is a function. And we'll end our while. And this is where we'll echo out our row. Actually, I want to put these inside paragraphs. So, paragraph, row, name. Okay, well, let's go ahead and reload this page. And you'll notice there was nothing that changed other than the back end or actually the code on the site.
they minimized our code by four lines and if you look at this it is much cleaner than the other one where we had our um, our connection variable and all that other stuff um, so basically it's um, let me check my time real quick awesome I can't believe I've gotten this far in like five minutes so um, yeah so I have plenty of time so we've created a new query or a variable which holds our class for MySQLi and it's basically just connecting to our database and then we're saying if result which is our variable that gets the results from the database um, is valid so MySQL query MySQL I query uh, and then so you c I'm not going to keep explaining this we could change this to M although it is kind of confusing uh, but I want to kind of show you this bad query piece so if I change this from fruits to fake uh, you will see that we have bad query and um, the next one I want to show you is this num rows I'm not going to show it to you it's kind of a waste of time but you can see that it is so much easier than writing the st the old way I can I call it the old way it might it's not really that old and it's still really good um, but I like the new way I like this improved it's MySQL improved uh, you can find it on uh, php.net forward slash mysqli and thanks for watching and goodbye